I have a box here from Six Sense Fishing and I have a box here from Tackle Warehouse. We're gonna open up both of these bad boys right now, take a look at everything that I ordered. Stoke, it's gonna be fun, let's do it. All right, what's up everybody? How is everyone out there in the world? Thank you for tuning in to another unboxing video. I wasn't planning on doing an unboxing video for you today, but I had a couple packages get delivered and I figured why not go ahead and crack into these bad boys on camera with you guys, show you what I've ordered here lately. I got a couple new items in, some stuff that I've never had in my hands before, never been able to take a look at, and then some stuff from the six as well. So let's just go ahead and jump right off into this bad boy. But really quickly, I wanna give a shout out to the new Heater Army members that joined in yesterday i appreciate you guys so much shout outs to the heater army if you want to learn more about that click that little join button down below in the video now if you guys were watching yesterday you saw that we got a new color a six sack exclusive bait color in the flush 5.2 let me grab it here that bad boy is right here this thing is a smoke show and today i was out here hanging out in the garage tinkering around playing tackle box and i noticed something with this bait and I gotta show you guys, check it out. So if you guys have been watching the channel, you know that we've been throwing the jackhammer around a lot. And recently I placed an order for a bunch of jackhammers because I needed to replenish the stock. I was getting low on half ounce jackhammers and I found a color that I really like, one that I had never seen before. It's called Ghost Green Gizzard Shad. This new flush color, this six sack exclusive color, just happened to pair up insanely well. Like I'm talking match made in heaven, you couldn't have done it any better. Look at this. Look at this little, little matchup with that new six sack exclusive. A little motor oil green pumpkin on the top with the shad, clear water. Oh, you know what? And in the skirt of that jackhammer, got a little bit of that rainbow action going on. That's just such a killer combination. When I put that together earlier today, I was like, dude, that looks like it came in the package like that. Couldn't be any more locked in with that combination right there. Ghost Green Gizzard Shad, I believe, is the name of that. That's the Evergreen Jackhammer, the expensive one, and that's that new Six Sack exclusive. If you guys wanna get in on those exclusive colors that come in that Six Sack, go watch my last video. You can learn more about that. But I could not resist showing you guys how well that new color matched up with that Jackhammer. Something else I gotta do. I was out on the water the other day shooting with my friend Luis, content creator, cameraman, videographer, and editor for Six Sense Fishing, and I got a gnarly backlash. Of course, while I'm out there shooting with the Six, we're gonna backlash one of the reels into oblivion. And that happened to me, but man, I'm hard-headed. I refuse to give up, and I got some backlash picking skills, so I swear I sat down here at this bench for like a half hour earlier today and meticulously picked out that backlash. And this just happens to be my squim jig heater, man. The seven foot, four inch medium heavy mod fast heater series rod. And I always have a swim jig at the ready. So we're gonna go ahead and get one rigged up right now. Let's grab this box right here. This is fun. Anytime you get to grab one of the white boxes, it's just a good time because you know, it's just chock full of heaters. This right here, my favorite swim jig on the planet. The bait that got me started with Six Sense Fishing and sent me down a freaking rabbit hole. The Devon Swim Jig. This is a half ounce. Pro Blue is the color. This is my PB getter. It's the first bait that I ever tried from Six Sense Fishing. Came home, realized the quality of the jig. Fell in love with them. This is the mold. The sculpt on the head, amazing. High quality hook, awesome color, skirts. And my favorite feature, the screw lock bait keeper, money. Preserve your trailers, helps save you money. And the Devon swim jig is what started it all for me, man. From there on, it went to the Crush 50X. The rest is history. But we're gonna go ahead and get this jig tied onto that seven foot, four inch, medium heavy, mod, fast, heater series rod. And I'm gonna show you what trailer I'm gonna put on this bad boy. When I'm not running a Devon swim bait, I'm generally running this right here, a Kitek 3.8. This is the Pro Blue Red Pearl color. And this is an excellent clear water shad imitator. Fishing super clear water right now. Coming up on summertime, the zebra mussels are gonna be doing their thing, filtering out all the water, a gallon of water every day per zebra mussel. Fun fact for you there. So the water's gonna be getting clearer. I'm going with natural shad patterns with this one. We're gonna go ahead and get this bad boy rigged up with this Kai Tech on the back. 
So one thing I try to do when I'm rigging up my paddle tail swim baits on the back of my swim jig is make sure I'm threading the hook through the material as straight as possible. I pretty much memorized in my head the spot that I need to come out of the back of the bait, but you guys can figure that out, trial and error. Push that bad boy on up to that screw lock right there like that, and then I take the tail and I start swinging it around the hook bend, just like that. And that bait will naturally thread on all the way up to the head. One more time around, one more time around. And in my opinion, dudes, when it comes to the squim jig, it does not get any better than that right there. That's, that's my smoke, man. That's my heater. You guys see me throwing this all the time here on the channel. Uh, my PB getter, that combination right there. Devon swim jig with a Kitek 3.8. Let's tie it on. I'll show you guys what uh, knot I'm gonna use to tie this bait on. It's a knot that I've made the switch over to lately. I'll be honest with you guys. I'll admit a little something, maybe a little embarrassing. I don't know, is it? Not to me, but it might be to some of y'all. I used to be that old fisherman's knot, the improved clinch knot, and that was the knot that I used because it was the knot that I could tie the best, the most consistent, and it never failed on me. But I have, admittedly, recently, switched on over to that old San Diego Jam Band 5000. There are plenty of instructional videos out there. If you want to learn how to tie that San Diego Jam, that's going to be my squim jig heater for that 7.4 medium mod fast heater series rod. Got that paired up with the Shimano Corrado 200. Excellent reel. But let's go ahead and get to the part that I know you guys all want to see, the unboxing portion of the video. I have a box here from Sixth Sense Fishing and I have a box here from Tackle Warehouse. We're going to open up both of these bad boys right now. Take a look at everything that I ordered. Stoke. It's going to be fun. Let's do it. We'll go ahead and start with the Tackle Warehouse box. Crack off into here. Show you guys what I picked up. Just a bunch of random stuff. Now, there were two boxes. For some reason, they split my shipment into and sent it in two separate boxes. And actually, there's only a couple other things in the other box, but they're like the coolest things out of the whole order. And for some reason, they're stuck somewhere and they never even moved. So I'm gonna have to get with T-Dub on that, figure out what's going on with the other part of my order. But one half of it did arrive, and there are several items in here that we can take a look at. So we'll go ahead and crack off into the box. I just wish I had everything to show you because there's one specific thing that I ordered that I know you guys would love to see. Hopefully it shows up. If not, I know Tackle Warehouse will take care of me. Shout outs to T-Dub. If you guys are looking for the heater series rods that are currently sold out on SixCentsFishing.com, check out Tackle Warehouse because a little birdie told me they got them available on TW. Isn't that crazy? Your boy's rods available on TackleWarehouse.com. That's epic to me. But let's check out what I ordered from the warehouse. Got some cool stuff in here. I'm gonna start it off with a super popular bait, something that everybody throws. The Senko, the Gary Yamamoto Senko, five inch version. I got a lot of five inch Senkos in here. I'll be honest with you guys, I was watching the old tactical bass and video. Can't remember if it was Matt or Tim, one of them was going on and on about the Senko and they started talking about all the cool colors, the 178,000 colors that are available on Tackle Warehouse in this bait. And I started thinking about how I only have like one pack of Yamamoto Senkos in my whole boat. So I started shopping around and I started adding colors to the cart and we ended up with a little bundle of Senko. So let's go ahead and check them out. First up, green pumpkin, watermelon seed. Everybody knows this color. That's a popular one. 9, 10, 9, 12. I think that's like one of the most popular colors. I won't take the time to pull that one out of the package. But I do have several others here that we can take a look at. This one right here is called Bama Bug. I really like it. Green pumpkin mixed with June Bug. That's what that looks like to me. Awesome color. Next up, this one right here looks like a baby bass. It's lavender watermelon. That lavender on one side and that watermelon candy on the other. Fire. Next up, I got this one. It's green flash. Another sort of baby bass bait fish imitator. Got that two-tone silver belly and then that shad style with the green and gold flake. All right, I got a few more packs of Senkos here. This one's mad melon. I don't even know. Looks like watermelon seed with just some extra colorful flash added to it. Nothing too special there. That one got me. Catching the fisherman, not the fish. This one right here I got in the four inch though, a little bait fish. 187306 with shark. I don't know what that means, but I love that it says with shark. And I love that it's a little four inch bait fish profile. 
That right there, that's money, dude. Just clear gray smoke plastisol, large black flake, and light greenish yellow flake. Cool. That's the only four inch one I got right there. Last but not least, electric shad. I think I've had this color before. Smoke clear with black and blue flake. Maybe a little lavender. Beautiful color. Smoke show. All right, man. Yamamoto Senko. That's a classic. Didn't have enough. Grab me some from the warehouse. Let's keep it rolling. Next up, I got a couple Zoom products. These right here, the Lil Critter Craw. Just one of their more realistic molds. Looks like a little finesse crawfish. I've been out there smacking them on the Ultra Vibe Speed Craw. So I thought I'd grab a little bag of these. Look cool and fun on the website. Got that in watermelon red. That would probably look pretty sick on the back of a little finesse jig. I don't know. Let's check it out. Here's a little six cents ball head finesse jig. Let's thread this little critter on there and see what it looks like. Same thing we did earlier. The finesse jig has the screw lock too. That's cool. Might ought to trim that bad boy down a little, but I'm gonna be honest, I ain't mad at it, dude. It's not too bad on that little finesse jig. Really, I think that would get bit, dude. Compact enough, finesse profile, a little long, but what do you guys think? Did you throw that? Let me know in the comments below. Or do you think it's stupid? Let's keep it rolling. The other one, this is another one that caught the fisherman, not the fish, this color. Couldn't resist it, dude. I could not resist this zoom color and this little Z3 original zoom worm. Would you, guys, would I ever even throw this? You, this thing is like so tiny, but the color. Could not resist, man. That cool little rainbow. It's like three or four different colors in there. Three or four, yeah. Hologram Dawn is the color. That's a cool little drop shot bait. I could not resist grabbing that. If I have to ever resort to a drop shot, come on hook one of those bad boys on. See if we can catch one on the little mini rainbow wriggler there. But this next one, I got one of these baits that could maybe be considered a hype bait, if you will. Something that's been gaining a lot of traction and a lot of chatter here lately is the Big Bite Baits Kamikaze Swim On. This is designed to be a jackhammer trailer, chatterbait trailer. And to be honest with you guys, I wasn't really big on these when I first saw them, but they are a very different profile and I think this will show the fish something that they haven't really seen before. And uh, it's just a killer looking little bait. I didn't mean to get these tiny ones. The 3.75s look a little small to me, but I got the little smoky gold ones. I got those flamethrower ones for the reds. And I also got the green pumpkin chartreuse swirl. Big bite baits, kamikaze swim on. And now that I have them in my hand, I think they're probably too small for what I'm trying to do. Should have got the larger ones, man. Four and a quarter. I didn't know. 3.75. I wasn't sure, but that just looks a little, I don't know, a little small for what I'm trying to do here. Let's check it out. Let's take this stroker craw off. I got a stroker craw on the back of that one. Looks like there is a right way and a wrong way to rig it. I don't know, man. This might not be too bad. Let's check it out. All right. All right. Honestly, that's not too bad at all. Profile was a little thin. I thought it was gonna be too small. Man, I think that's exactly, I think that's exactly what that sucker's meant to do right there. It won't inhibit that action. That kamikaze swim on does look pretty gnarly on the back of there. And I wanted to go ahead and pick up a few packs of those to try. I got two frogs as well. A couple of River to Sea Bully Wah, two frogs. Just building out my frog arsenal, something that I don't have a whole heck of a lot of are frogs. And these are two that I didn't have in my arsenal, a couple larger profile, this one especially. And uh, yeah, just a couple more frogs to add to the arsenal. We've seen that color before, but this one right here is new. So I'll go ahead and pull it out of the package for you guys, let you take a look. This one's called Goliath. Sort of a ghost green, ghost frog color. Ghost chartreuse, I don't know. You can see through it. That's a good color. I like the size of that one too, a little smaller profile. That'll be better for where I'm fishing. That big bully wah, we have the smaller version of that one already in the boat. But let's keep this unboxing rolling and crack off into this box from Six Sense Fishing. Now Six Sense has dropped some new iterations, some new uh, variations of some baits that I absolutely love. So I had to grab some and that is what is in this box along with some other really awesome hard bait colors as well some of my favorites and I wanted to grab some to maybe give away to some of you guys. Who knows? Let's see what we got. First up out of this box. If you watched the last unboxing, you saw where I talked about this bad boy right here. 
but I had to order me another one. So I got me another one of these Ghost Glide Draw Glide Baits from Six Sense. This is one of the new colors. Absolutely beautiful. I love this color. Had to grab another one. Also, speaking of swim baits, one of my favorite swim baits to throw ever is the Trace, and they recently came out with the fast sinking version. Stoked on this. Now, something you guys didn't know, originally during the testing phase before this bait ever came out, before it was ever available to the public, they actually had the fast sync prototype versions available to a few of us to test out. And I had one or two of those bad boys. For whatever reason, when the trace got released, there was only floating and slow sync versions available. And I was like, what gives, man? But they finally dropped the fast sync and I'm stoked on it. So I picked me up a few. I got the Gillikin. Let's take a look. This is the bluegill heater right here. Shout outs to the homie Ben Milliken. This is his signature color and she's a beaut Clark. Look at that bad boy. Mm -mm. Fast sinking sunfish imitator for summertime, multi-jointed swim bait time. Next up, this one right here, one of their most popular, one of their most unique, one of their most beautiful, most realistic, amazing colors ever. Live shiner. Look at that thing, boys. So the Trace is a six inch multi-jointed swim bait. I throw this bait on the 7.7 Sensory Heavy Fast Rod. Love that rod, 20 to 25 pound fluorocarbon. Money on the Trace. Next up, you already know, I got that bone. This is Bone Pearl is the color. There it is, man. Just a beautiful bone profile with the red eye and the black dot. You're getting extra tails, super sharp, extra wide gap hooks and premium hardware on the trace, ready to go straight out of the package. Six inches long, the fast sink weighs two ounces. Check it out, sixcentsfishing.com and use my code JR10 to save 10% off the draw, the trace, and everything else on the website. Secure the heaters, save the bread, support the movement, JR10 for the win. Get me those screenshots so I can give you a shout out. Let's keep this unboxing rolling. Got some more baits in here and some of my favorite colors. Check these out, guys. The Crush 100X in ghost shad scales. This bad boy is a super heater. And while I was stocking up on square bills, heads up, there's gonna be a lot of square bills coming in the rest of this unboxing. This one was just one that I had to have a couple more of. It's just a clear ghost body. And then it's got the iridescent scales, realistic looking, vibrant, shimmering shine. It's gonna throw off that flash. And then you got the dark gray on the back. Really, really natural, but throwing off the flash. I love this Ghost Shad Scales Crush 100X. Had to have me another one. I think there's even another one, another one, another one in that box over there. Next up, the OG. Check this color out, man. It's just the OG Shad style imitator. You got the gray green pumpkin back with the shad yellow, orange accent on the belly. It's really natural, old school vibe. That'll get it done right there. Also has a red eye. Crush 50X, man, my favorite square bill crankbait ever. I can never get enough of this bait. Every time I'm shopping around, I'm like, let me grab some more Crush 50s, why not, man? Next up, this is a new one on me. Another new heater. They always have something new, something that I haven't seen before. And this one right here looks like dang RoboCop mixed with Terminator mixed with Superheater. Look at this thing, dude. This is Threadfin Flash. Kind of looks like a little bit like that Live Shiner that we looked at in that trace, but it's got the, you know, the gold flash plating on the gill plates, gold lateral line, blue on the shoulders. Got that beautiful pattern on the back. Dark, dark rust accent on the forehead. Beautiful iridescent eyes with the black pupils, black dot, white belly. That's a superheater, dude. Thread fin flash. That's a new one on me. Anybody out there throwing that one? You guys caught one on this yet? Let me know in the comments. Some of you guys out there are ahead of the game on me on some of these colors. And I'm pretty freaking tuned in with what's going on over there at Sixth Sense. There's another one of those OG right there. And I got another one of those thread fin flash as well. Superheaters, couple more in here. Check these out. There's another one of those Ghost Shad Scales 100s. Told you I thought I had two of those, I did. But these right here, this color. <whistles> Talk about super heater. I got two of these as well. Check this thing out. The Lava Truce. The Lava Truce Crush 50. I have not seen that one yet. Black back, fades into black and red. Bright orange sides, chartreuse belly, red eyes, smoke show. Grabbed a couple of those. This one right here, this is a new one on me as well. And this is Cypress Gill. This is a color that I would not typically select to throw. 
because I'm always fishing such clear water. What a beautiful bait it is. Could not resist adding it to the cart. Looks like black with light aqua blue vertical lines, but if you take a little bit closer look, you'll notice it's got some amber orange accents on the tail and the belly. This blue accent on the forehead, black and gold eyes. It's just a beautiful bait. I didn't have this one yet. In a way, I'm sort of a collector, especially when it comes to the Crush 50. Had to have it, couldn't resist adding that to my cart. But next up is one of my absolute favorite colors. You wanna talk about one that appeals to the fishermen. To me, this is the coolest color the Sixth Sense has ever created. Um, I absolutely love it. I have like one of these and I had to grab a couple more just so that I could have them. This is a beautiful color right up my alley. It fits my aesthetic profile and what I like visually so well. It's the black light craw and it's such a beautiful bait. I got a couple Crush 50s and a Crush 100 as well. Let's take a look at these things. Absolutely beautiful. Now heads up, I got two of these Crush 50s. I am gonna give one of these away to one of you guys. So watch all the way to the end. I'm also gonna announce the winner from the last giveaway here in this video. So stay tuned. But the black light craw is a color that I have been in love with ever since the first time I saw it. Beautiful purple base with the blue accents, black back, crazy colored eyes. It's just a really unique colored bait and I'm not even gonna try and front and say that I think this is a color that's gonna catch a bunch of bass in this water that I fish out here that's super clear for the most part. I do think that I can catch them with this upriver because it's such a bold profile and when they're fired up and they see stuff blasting through the water, uh, sometimes they can't help but smoke it. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I picked this color up because I just love the way it looks. I think it's awesome. And uh, I think it's one of the coolest crankbait colors I've ever seen in my life. So I wanted to have another one to hang up back here on my tackle wall and one to give away to you guys as well. All right guys, really quickly, let's go ahead and announce the giveaway winner from the last video. And I'll tell you guys what you gotta do to get in on today's giveaway. Shout out to Andy Parsons for leaving this comment. Congratulations, dude, you won. If you could reach out to me, and get me your shipping info, I will get these baits sent out to you ASAP. But now for today's giveaway. Shooting this the next day as if that wasn't obvious enough already, but here's all you gotta do. You want to win this Crush 50X black light cross square bill crankbait. Look, I'm trying to grow the Facebook page, okay guys? We're somewhere around 5,000 followers right now. We need to hit 10,000 followers. So I've left a link down below in the video description to the Facebook page and all you have to do to enter this giveaway is click that link and go follow the Facebook page. You don't even have to like it, just follow it. Once you're done, come back here to the video and type done in the comment section. I'll pick somebody at random to win this free Black Light Croc Crush 50X Square Bill Crankbait. Thank you guys for the support. Don't sleep, get in on the giveaway. Go like the Facebook page. Back to the video. I absolutely could not do this without your help and it means the world to me to have so many awesome people riding with me over here. Shout outs to the Heater Army, shout outs to the JR10 Army, but I think that's about all I got for you in this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sincerely appreciate you all for taking time out of your day to watch this video, but that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now, but I will see you on the next one. I'm going bed fishing with Teacock. It's a six day edit, a lot of work. I'll get it done though. See you guys soon. Much love, I'm out. Goose.